this is teacher Maria and today at our school of SFB we are going to paint a small still life a la Paul Cézanne. He lived in France in the second part of the 19th century, was friends with some of the Impressionist artists. As you probably remember, Impressionists developed a new, very quick and expressive way of painting using small uh, brush strokes of uh, loose color, often not blending them at all. Cézanne was influenced by the new art movement, but he disliked the diffusion of the reality. He decided to focus on the core, structure and pattern of things. He saw all shapes as bricks out of which the universe was made. He painted simple scenes from the everyday life, still lives, people, landscapes, and used separated fluid brushstrokes. In a small city of Provence, uh, however, he managed to influence people all around the world and two important art styles of the beginning of the 20th century, Favism and Cubism, were directly influenced by his art. Today we are going to paint a simple still life a la Cezanne. Please find a few apples, pears or peaches that slightly vary in color. Place a light towel on the table and position your fruits so that they look good with the folds. Uh, feel free to make several compositions and select the best one. Position your objects on paper or cardboard, pressing lightly, then define the outlines. Traditionally, half tones and often shadows are bluish in Cezanne's paintings, so I recommend starting uh, tracing the outlines and lightly shading with some bluish emeraldish color. When you start painting, you can slightly exaggerate the color temperature and play with variations of color. But remember to keep the values uh, the way you see them in uh, real life. You can see I'm following the same pattern, cool shadows, half tones, warm light. And I'm adding different shades of blue and green and uh, pink and yellow in my main colors. Um, when I uh, paint, I blend the colors right away, so it creates the smooth, beautiful transition, uh, gradation of color. Do not forget to change your water when it becomes non-transparent. Now I'm painting the fruits, starting from the main bright color um, in the light area, and adding other colors like greens and browns and reds uh, in the half tones. Leave no white gaps between the strokes, but do not blend them out completely. This technique creates a cool effect of a brushstroke mosaics. Your apples and pears are most likely similar in color. Still try to see the difference in them. One of them is closer to the source of light. One can be more bright or intense in color. Um, if you see this difference, exaggerate it. If you don't see the difference, well, maybe try to find a different apple or paint it slightly darker or lighter than you see it. Once you are done with main shapes and colors, it's time to add details. However, still um, make them kind of raw, um, a little bit angular, and um, not to blend it with the rest. Remember to paint shadows, not gray, but colorful, basically exaggerating the colors that you see in there natural color of the folds and reflected color from the neighboring fruits. And this is my finished work. As you can see, I added some highlights on the fruits and made the folds uh, softer integrated with the background. All right, let's start working on yours. Good luck.